everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet the very beautifully textured and massively underrated rice stitch. If you love all things crochet and are passionate about the craft, then you have definitely come to the right place. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my future crochet videos. So the rice stitch is fully reversible. It is a nice, dense, thick, squishy stitch. It's made up of front and back post stitches. Now, if you're unfamiliar with how to find the post of a stitch, I have a nice, slow, clear video showing you exactly how to identify where to put your front and your back post stitches, which I have linked to in the description box below. So if you need a refresher or are a little unsure, definitely check that video out and then come back here and we can do the rice stitch together. All right, let's jump straight on in. To begin the rice stitch, pop a slip knot on your hook. Now the pattern multiple for the rice stitch is simply an odd number. So all that means is go ahead and chain however wide you want your project to be. Just ensure it is an odd number of chains. I'm going to be making a really tiny sample today. So I'm going to go ahead and chain 13 to start. So that's my 13 chains to start. To begin, we're going to pop a double crochet into the third chain from our hook. Now remember this loop on your hook does not count as anything. You only want to count the completed chains hanging down below. So one, two, three, and into that third chain, place a double crochet stitch. Now these two chains that you skipped do not count as a stitch. Place a double crochet in each of the remaining chains down along the row. You will have an odd number of stitches at the end, ignoring this chain two. So only count the stitches that you actually physically crochet into this row. Once you reach the end of the row, just take a moment to double check you have an odd number of stitches. Remember this chain two here does not count as a stitch. Now the rice stitch is a very simple one row repeat and I'll go over it a couple of times just so that we make sure you've definitely got it. <laughs> so the pattern repeat row is as follows. Chain one, which does not count as a stitch. Turn your work and place a half double crochet into that very first stitch. You will start every row with a half double crochet. Then front post around the next stitch. Front post, double crochet. Again, you will start every row with a front post double crochet as your first post stitch. Then back post around the next. Again, back post double crochet. And front post double crochet around the very next stitch. You're going to alternate this front post, back post double crochet stitch all the way along until your very last stitch of the row. Now 
and I'm just alternating front post double crochet, back post double crochet. So as you reach the last two stitches, remembering this chain two here doesn't count. You've only got two full stitches left. You will always end, provided you had an odd number of stitches and you've kept an eye on that, on a front post double crochet in your second to last stitch. Then in this very end stitch, you may need to rotate it slightly to find the top, place a half double crochet stitch. So you've alternated front and back post all the way along. I'll show you that row again. Chain one and turn and place a half double crochet into that very same stitch where you just chained from. So you're starting with a half double crochet. Now you'll notice that as you have turned your work, I'm just pulling all my post stitches up, that the very next stitch of this row is actually a back post stitch. Now it's facing you. So it has back post, front post, back post, front post. Don't worry about that. We are still going to start with a front post double crochet stitch. Every row start with a front post after your half double crochet. So it's back here, a little bit harder to find, but front post around the next stitch. Then same again, alternate back post, front post, all the way until your last two stitches over here. You'll always be working like the opposite post <laughs> around the stitch that you're working on. I hope that makes sense. Hopefully you know what I mean. So here I have a back post stitch and I'm going to do a front post around it. And then the next post is a front post, but I'm doing a back post around it. Don't worry too much, as long as you always start with a half double crochet followed by a front post stitch, you'll already be lined up for these alternating stitches. So that's my last back post stitch of the row. And I'm left with two stitches remaining. Now this is the only point at which it can be a little bit tricky because this half double crochet here is sort of overlapping the stitch at the back. You can't necessarily see the join between the two. So stretch it out just a little bit so you can identify that post stitch at the back and you'll be ending just as we started with a front post, end with a front post stitch. It's just sometimes a little bit harder to find next to that half double. So I'm ending with a front post and then half double crochet into the top of the half double crochet from the row below. That is the only point at which you may trip up a little bit is on these last two stitches, just separating out the half double from the post stitch. If you find it's all crunching up a little bit because these post stitches have sort of a trick of 
sitting a little bit too low, you can pull them, pull it apart so you're pulling your stitches up the post. So you can see it creates this amazing, like a, a woven type effect. Very, very cool. And to recap, for every row, chain one, turn, start with a half double crochet into the first stitch and front post around the next one. Then alternate back post, front post, back post, front post, all the way along your row. And when you reach the last two stitches of the row, you'll need to separate them out a little bit. So you can see the stitch, which is the post stitch and your half double at the end. And you will always end each row with a front post double crochet around the second to last stitch. And a half double crochet into the very end stitch. And you can always pull it up a little bit if it's crushing itself. Now, as you can see, with a variegated yarn, it just looks fantastic. Obviously, this small sample doesn't really look like anything to write home about, to be honest. But when worked up on a larger scale, look how fantastic these alternating post stitches look. They're absolutely amazing. I'm obsessed with this stitch. And by starting and ending each row with a half double crochet, you get these lovely straight edges too, which of course is always a winner. Can I get them both in short? Yes, I can. Here we go. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you have learned a new stitch and that you go on to try the rice stitch in projects of your own. So until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.